in today's video guys i'm going to share with you how to get a smooth clean shave down there and also how to avoid ingrown hairs how to treat ingrown hairs and bombs you know just everything about that downstairs area and also yes how to lighten up the area in case it is dark and it is not just giving so without wasting any time let us dive into the video there are three major ways in which people remove hairs from their downstairs area from their miss v and these methods are usually by waxing by trimming the hairs or by shaving now a lot of us actually go for shaving because shaving is very very cost effective you can just walk into the supermarket and you have gotten yourself a shaving stick go back home and just you know remove the hairs compared to waxing for waxing you have to actually book an appointment and and sometimes spend a lot of money to remove the hairs down there and the thing is that most of us don't do this shaving well that is why at the end of the day we end up having ingrown hairs that will not lead to spots and everywhere will just be looking somehow one thing to note whenever you want to shave or wax or do anything is that hairs in the downstairs area are usually more coily and more coarse than hairs on other parts of our body so the hairs down there they are kind of stronger and they are kind of thicker and more coarse so you have to be very very careful and you know you have to just follow the right methods so that you will not end up with ingrown hairs and all of that stuff so if you know you want to shave make sure you are shaving at the end of your shower make sure you are shaving at the end of your shower you don't just want to enter inside the bathroom you carry your shaving stick and you're already you're already shaving like it doesn't work that way you have to make sure you shave at the end of your shower make sure you shave at the end of your shower because by this time the hair follicles down there is already soft they're already soft and you know it's just be so easy and now your pores are open down there so you can't just go into the bathroom and just start shaving you have to shave at the end of your shower and what i mean by the end of your shower i mean by that time you are done beating like you are done with your scrub you are done with your you know with your um body wash and body soap second thing you want to do before you go ahead to shave is to exfoliate make sure you are exfoliating your miss v don't just uh, enter bathroom then you just start using shaving stick no you want to make sure you exfoliate before you shave take your scrub and just you know gently exfoliate the area before you go ahead to shave you guys i have here i don't know if you guys can see i have here a picture that i have you know that i drew earlier you know this is like the vagina okay you guys don't mind my drawing please these are the pubic hairs as you guys can see and this is the vagina okay so when you are done exfoliating the area okay you have removed the dead skin cells that is on your vagina you have removed the dead skin cells so it will be more easier for you to shave there are dead skin cells on top of your vagina it can lead to infection so you want to make sure you are exfoliating before you shave now the third thing you want to do is to make sure you are using a shaving cream or a shaving gel just make sure you are using something you don't just want to just shave without using anything make sure you are using a shaving cream or a shaving gel you guys i have made these types of videos several times in the like in years back like years back so um i've always said for me i use aloe vera gel i just put like a good layer of aloe vera gel on my miss v and then i go ahead to shave you can use shaving cream like whatever works for you just make sure you are using something don't just um use the shaving stick directly on your miss v you need like um something like a barrier okay you don't just want to use the the shaving stick directly on your miss v first thing you want to do is to use a sharp razor don't just go and um use your razor the razor you have been using since you have been using it since last year don't carry that razor and say you want to shave down there make sure you use a clean razor go and buy a new razor you know a new razor you guys i really recommend this one i'm going to have the picture here this big for me big like big is very very big is very very sharp although it is a single blade razor but i feel like it is sharp and you know you don't need to go over the area repeatedly that's why i love big but if you have um if you have more money you can actually buy three blade razors i think three blade razors are like 1000 something or one five or three thousand naira. you can actually just buy a three blade razor three blade razors are actually more better than using a single blade razor the last thing you want to do when it comes to shaving is to shave 
downwards okay make sure you are shaving downwards because that is the direction your hair grows don't go and shave upwards okay so this is your miss v so as you are shaving make sure you are shaving downwards now when it gets to this lip part you guys can see the lip when it gets to this lip part what you want to do is to put one of your leg on the toilet seat and then you pull one of the lips to one side and then shave you know shave that part and when you are done you pull the other lip to the other side and you know, shave it like shave the inside like the corner so make sure your leg is elevated when you are shaving the lips okay this is the lips make sure your leg is elevated you know you want to put one of your leg on a higher surface so you can see well and then use your razor to you know shave okay after you have followed all these steps you can then rinse the hairs down there and then you are done one thing to know about shaving is that shaving is not um a method that you want to do um frequently okay i just for me i shave only once a month but if you are always shaving every week, then you will be prone to ingrown hairs. Even if you follow this method, okay? You are going to be prone to ingrown hairs and all those bumps and razor bones. So you have to make sure you reduce the way you shave. Whenever you just decide to remove hairs down there, like anything can happen. But if you do it the right way, you can actually minimize the way you have all this problems like ingrown hairs and razor bones and all of that stuff so guys what are ingrown hairs and how can we treat ingrown hairs ingrown hairs occurs as a result of shaving or waxing because if you wax so you can also have ingrown hairs so ingrown hairs are, are a result of shaving or waxing and you know when the hairs um, are cut by shaving or waxing when the hair starts growing they are now like the um should I say like the beginning of the hair is quite um pointy, like it is pointy, and then when it starts growing, it grows at an angle and then it bends back into the skin. So that is what causes ingrown hairs. Okay, so the hairs that are growing will bend and enter inside the skin, and then it will now form a bump, and you know the hairs will be stuck inside the bump, it will not want to come out. So that is just what ingrown hairs is all about. Ingrown hairs can cause the hair follicles. To become um swollen and infected which is a condition known as folliculitis so how do we treat this ingrown hairs issue ingrown hairs can be treated by using glycolic acid toner or salicylic acid toner if you have any glycolic acid or salicylic acid toner in your skincare stash then you can use that to get rid of that ingrown hairs okay i'm going to recommend this one from the ordinary you guys this the ordinary glycolic acid toner is very very good when it comes to ingrown hairs and also lightening up the miss v okay so what you want to do is to take part of your glycolic acid toner put some on your palm and then apply it on top of your miss v okay if you're having bumps any of these areas just apply the toner sorry excuse me just apply the toner on top of it so what this acid does is that it helps to exfoliate the surface of your miss v okay if you put it on top of your miss v it will help to exfoliate the surface of your miss v and also remove dead skin cells from the hair follicles so this would help the ingrown hair to come out from the pores because the acids are you know the acids are helping to exfoliate and also remove the dead skin cells from the hair follicle thereby allowing the hairs to come outside so that is why i said using a salicylic or a glycolic acid toner would really really help you down there and also if you are having dark miss v like your miss v is very very dark like it doesn't look like it's part of your body at all then you can keep on using this toner just use it like two or three times in a week and this would help to improve the appearance okay it would make it a little bit brighter and anytime that you are going to bed don't wear any pants so that you know it would work well okay you can't just keep on wearing pants every single day you are covering it up and it will not even allow it to, to heal or it's not even allow it to get brighter another thing that you can use to help with the ingrown hairs that you're having down there all those bumps and ingrown hairs is to use an acne treatment you guys i don't know if you have ever heard of neomidrol or neoprisol before i'm going to have the picture here on the screen you guys neomidrol is actually very very good men use it for their you know for their beards and everything like men that have bumps on their beards they make use of neomidrol you guys if you have let me just even give you a bonus skincare tip 
if your acne is refusing to go away go and buy new mutual you guys when I was in 200 level, I had like serious acne breakouts and Neo Midrol saved my life. Although it is quite expensive, but it really, really does the job in drying out acne. So you can also use this Neo Midrol on your downstairs area, okay? Be very, very careful so it doesn't seep into your vagina. Just take a little bit, put some on your palm and then put it on where you're having the bumps. Trust me, under one week, that bumps will disappear. Neo Midrol is very, very strong. And you can also use the uh, the lesser kind because there are two types, Neo Midrol and Neo Prisol. Neo Prisol is like a Nigerian product, while Neo Midrol, I think it is made abroad. So Neo Midrol is quite expens expensive com compared to Neo Prisol, but they actually do the same thing. This Neo Midrol contains Neomycin, which is an antibiotic that helps to kill bacteria down there. So in case you have any infection, like those bombs are causing you infection, you can use it on that area because the liquid now the neo major liquid contains neomycin which would help to kill bacteria it also contains um i think methylprednisolone which is an anti-inflammatory um, agent which would help to reduce the swelling down there so if you have if you're always having bumps after shaving just go and buy neo major trust me you come back and thank me Neo Midrol works very very well, okay? So guys, another thing that you can use that would really really help you, you know, get rid of all those bumps and ingrown hairs is this Safe Cut After Shave Lotion, um, After Shave Cleanser, sorry. You guys, what you want to do is just spray it on your Miss V like so. Make sure you are avoiding, um, make sure you are avoiding it from getting into your vagina. Just spray it on top. Just on top like this and trust me guys bombs will be a thing of the past you can also use this for your beards if you have like you know if you're a man and you're watching this video you can use this for your beard it will really really help you get rid of that bump and ingrown hair another thing you can use is this high time bump stopper okay this is for sensitive skin you can also use i'm going to have a picture here on the screen because it's too small so you guys will not be able to see it so just you can buy this bump stopper it's very very cheap you can find it on jumia just buy it and you know rub it on your miss v okay rub it on the surface of your miss v don't allow it to get inside just put it on the surface and trust me the bombs and ingrown hairs are going to disappear so guys before i end this video i wanted to show you this my small electric um shaver this is what i currently use to shave my downstairs area like this is what i use and you guys when i started using this thing bumps is a thing of the past i have never ever ever had any bumps since 2023 may i think that i started using this i don't have any bumps this is an electric shaver can you guys hear it it's an electric shaver i also use it for my armpits like it does the job really really well i i just follow the same procedure i shared with you guys earlier i you know i shave um at the end of my shower i exfoliate and i do everything when it's time to shave the hairs i use this instead and this doesn't give a close shave like how a you know how a um, shaving stick or a razor would um go this is just more of like trimming i use this for trimming i don't use this to remove all the hairs completely i just use this to like you know just trim the hairs just trim it down a little bit so that it will not be bushy so if you want to get rid of all those bombs and ingrown hairs and all those irritation you can just buy this electric shaver it is very very cheap this one should not be more than seven thousand or eight thousand naira, and it is something that you can charge okay it is electric and you can charge it so this is very very good this is something that i would recommend that you get just use it when just use it as you would use a shaving stick and another thing that you can do to prevent you know to prevent this bump and ingrown ingrown hairs completely is by using scissors just use scissors to trim the hairs you know just trim it okay if you are trimming the hairs trust me you're not going to have bumps but when you decide to use a shaving stick you can or if you are lucky you may not have any bumps but if you don't want bumps just use this or use a scissors and trim the hairs instead and you are good to go hi guys we've come to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this video today if you did enjoy it remember to give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to your girl's channel i'll see you guys in my next one until then bye